EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey everyone, this is Mike DeVault from the Tiger Woods PGA Tour team. In Tiger Woods PGA Tour 13, we've taken a huge leap forward with our swing mechanic system. This leap forward represents the biggest change to this system in the last 10 years. We're super excited to show it to you today, so let's get started. All right, the first big change you're gonna notice in gameplay is our new shot setup system. Now this system's gonna offer what seems like an endless array of different shots for you to take. I'm gonna go out here and aim my shot, and you'll notice the HUD element in the bottom right here. It says stance, so I can open my stance up to draw the ball, and you'll see the feet moving down there at the bottom. I can also close my stance up to fade the ball. Or if I want, I can just keep my feet nice and straight, hit a nice straight shot. Uh, you'll also notice that we have a ball position icon here down in that bottom right element. So you can move your ball forward, back in your stance if you want to hit it higher or lower. When you've got your shot set up the way you'd like it, simply go to address and you're going to see your golfer's swing plane draw around him. This swing plane indicates two things. The accuracy that you're going to need with your club coming back and the distance that you're going to need to hit to execute the shot that you've just set up. So as far as accuracy goes, if I pull the club back into the left a little bit, you'll see my golfer's club is off it, off the swing plane. If I bring it back to the right, still off the swing plane. If I bring it back right down the middle, there you go. You'll see it's right down the middle. You get a nice, perfect stroke. Another thing you're going to want to take into account this year is that you're not going to be able to hold your club at the top to sort of fudge the uh, power percentage. When you do that, like I'm doing now, you pull the club back, he's just going to come right back to address. So no cheating this year. Okay, now I'm here at my second shot. In another new gameplay mechanic that you're going to want to keep an eye out for is right here in the bottom right. So you see my ball sitting perfectly right here in the fairway and you see this little red cursor that moves up and down along the ball. This cursor represents where my club is going to impact the ball. So the sweet spot of the club is going to impact right where that red dot is. So if I want to hit the ball thin, for example, I would raise it up high and hit it low, roll it right into the bunker there. If I wanted to hit it fat, I would place this cursor right underneath the ball. Go ahead and take my swing and that was a little too fat. So this element's gonna give you a way to customize your shot like never before. If you're in the deep rough or you're buried in a bunker, you're gonna use that to get underneath the ball and get safely out of those hazards. Uh, for this particular shot, I'm pretty good right there. It is sitting a little bit down in the fairway, so I'm just gonna nudge it down just a touch, see if we can land it safely on the green. and that looks like it worked. One thing you're gonna to wanna to watch out for in the higher difficulty levels is that you don't get too carried away and miss the ball entirely. If you go too high with it, you swing and you miss. So definitely be careful with that. So all these new shot setup features are gonna allow players to have a true sandbox of different shots, allowing players to create over 62 million different shots with one single club. So let's talk about shot execution just a little bit more. For the very first time in our game, tempo is going to play a big role in your shot. So the harder that you swing at the ball, the farther it's going to go. In the past, it's always been your backswing that's dictated your power, but this year it's going to be a combination of your backswing plus your forward swing. So if I take a swing here, come to the top of my backswing, and hit slowly. You can see down the bottom left, there's a readout that, get, that tells you if you've swung too slow or you swung hard. Let's try to give a nice hard swing here. Back swing. There. I actually back swung quite a bit, and it tells me my forward swing was fast. You see the ball went considerably farther, and I missed the green. So the ideal here is to hit a perfect back swing and a perfect follow through try to get it right up on there. This new system of tempo is going to add a ton more feel to your shots, whether you're on the tee, whether you're hitting your second shot, or whether you're on the green, and we think you're really going to love it. 
So that's it for now. And next time, we're going to show you how to do all of what we just talked about without a controller using your body and the Microsoft Connect.